the other thing that was interesting too is they do a lot of the bunch formations too. I know the Rams always did that first. They did a lot of the three receiver sets with the bunches, but the Vikings actually mm-hmm. did it where they put Co- sometimes I see Cook Hawkinson and either Thielen or KJ Osborne. Like they do it a lot of different ways too, which yeah, is they very do. interesting. The they do. And and you know, the motioning of a back in and out of the backfield, you line up an empty. And you just go see, you look and see, is, is there a linebacker walked out covering them or is it a, it, or did the corner bump out? Cause if they bump out, you know, it's zone. If, if the linebacker goes out, then, you know, it's man to man motioning, uh, you know, pre-snap shifting those, those bunch formations and all of that. It's all, it's all designed to tell one game. It's designed to tell one game. It's designed to actually do something. If you guys, if they expect a lot of man to man, then yeah, I expect a lot of those bunch routes um, because it's, you know, the DBs have to be able to pass things off. You can't just play cat coverage and just fight through picks and fight through all those other things. So um, yeah, I mean, wheel routes out of the backfield, stuff like that. Those are all, I mean, those are all your stereotypical man to man type, you know, beating plays. And that's, you saw that, um, Hey, yeah, you saw that. It was either in the soup. No, it was either in the. Yeah, it was in the Super Bowl. Yeah, it was in the Super Bowl. It's a huge third down. They motioned the they motioned the the running back out of the backfield and saw the linebacker walk out on him, and then they just ran kind of a wheel route with him, mm. and they got a big first down against Cincinnati. So uh, that's that's just that style. So well, we'll West see. Coast offense. Uh, we are talking to former Vikings linebacker and current Vikings radio network analyst Pete Persick. Last question for us. I know you're busy. I know you're getting ready. For Sunday, we really appreciate all the time, as always. Yeah, it's 10 o'clock. I'm getting ready for bed. <laughs> well, we're, we're just about to uh, – we have another hour of this show. Yeah, but you're just getting warmed up. Yeah, now. we are. Trust me, you have no idea how warmed up we're going to get. But <laughs> – but, uh, Errol's, Errol's been getting warmed up for the matchup for the last month. <laughs> He circled yeah. this Vikings game know, down on like, him. Watch, look at him. watch until the Jets' up. defense <laughs> plays the Vikings. <laughs> he, wore the, he, wore the, he did you're about you're 200 right. push-ups. <laughs> he did about 200 push-ups before I he got I do 400 air. push-ups the, every day, man. Get the, so. get the shine. Yeah. Get the sheen going. You know? er, Errol's trying to catch up Errol's trying to catch up an upper body size to Kevin Williams. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He's well, the tats hold nice on. and shiny and dark. Hold, hold on one yeah. second. So I, I – I we've I've interviewed Justin Tuck a couple of times, okay, and okay. Justin Tuck's a nice guy. And I said, okay, standing next to Justin Tuck, he hasn't really worked out as much as he used to as a player. I've told all the guys on the radio show, standing next to him, he's a lot taller than I am, mm-hmm. but size wise, I'm just as big as he is. So mm-hmm. these guys look at me and they tell me, "You think you're as big as Justin Tuck?" I said, "I don't know. I'm five. I'm five ten. I'm 230 pounds. I'm pretty big. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? And Justin Tuck, I've asked Justin. when I've interviewed him a couple of times. I said, Justin, how tall are you? He says, I'm 6'4", maybe 6'5". And I said, okay, how much do you weigh? And he says, uh, I think at the time after he retired, about 245, 248 pounds. So he's only yeah. 18 pounds bigger than me. I mean, heavier than I am. And he's like, Seven inches taller than me. Right. So, yeah, I think he, I'm bigger than him. So this guy, because he's in love with Justin Tuck, okay, <laughs> absolutely <laughs> adores the guy. When I said that, he says, you think you're bigger than Justin? I didn't say I was bigger. I said, I think I'm more wider and put together than he is now because he's not playing in the NFL anymore. And, he, right. and everybody looked at me like I had six heads, man. Six heads. And yeah, I, it's I mean, whatever. Whatever. I mean, it's the different, and that's. Yeah, it's <laughs> the thing is, is what Tuck can do when he's in a three point stance and how uh, yes. quick he is <laughs> and how fast he can run. Right? That's what makes you know. That's what that's yes. what makes these guys. Yes. So, dangerous. but you're right. The the um yeah, the league has changed a ton, and these guys, the the, the defensive linemen, and especially the outside linebackers, and they they look the ends. They look like ridiculous just big basketball yeah. players. Mm-hmm. They're they're long. They need long so they can get the separation but they still need to be strong. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, like Zedarius Smith, who mm-hmm. is, is one of, quickly, he's one of my favorites. He's, he's, you know, he's just big, mm-hmm. right? He's not 300 and whatever. He's just, his hands are yeah, huge. He's just yeah. strong, right? He's got this big, deep voice. And, uh, you know, it's like, yeah, that's, that's a guy I want lined up next to me. Mm-hmm. Right. <laughs> Cause he, he's, yeah, he's, he's definitely, He's definitely a just a big, strong, 
tough type of a guy. Um, but yeah, they're just different. They're not, you don't see the six foot two muscle hamsters anymore. No. Right? You gotta be able to move, man. You gotta be able to run now. And, and, um, so I don't, you know, I, yeah, you, maybe you are, I will. Are you bigger? When you say bigger, you mean size wise? You size, mean like size, you have a bigger not... following on Twitter? No, um, you know, you I don't a, have a bigger a, following. A bigger audience. Him, no. I mean, I, I don't. don't I, I don't know. First of all, don't throw me under the bus, Pete. Okay, you're I, the one a... that said it. How am I throwing you under the bus? <laughs> I'm not throwing I'm you just, under the bus. I'm, at all. Trying, I'm trying to stick to help up. You. I'm trying to stick up for myself over here, and I have, you know, everybody attacking me when I say I'm, you know, and Justin probably giggled when I said that to him too. By the way, but you know, it's okay. It's hey, okay. I, you know, I think I think when <laughs> it's one of those things where it's like um, I got all my work it out done when I was playing. Right? It's like of I'm, course. I, yeah, I'm not. I'm not. You know, and you. It, and you learn that you, no matter how big you are, there's always somebody 100%, bigger. Hundred percent. Always somebody bigger. Hundred percent. Right? You know. Yeah. Yeah. I'm. I'm surprised that Justin Tuck didn't rip a vein out of your neck. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know I, I, mean? I. I think Justin, after he, knowing that I'm, uh, you know, a champion boxer and MMA fighter, I don't. I don't think Justin wants to grab me. <laughs> <laughs> Um, <laughs> yeah. Don't, don't worry. Yeah, no, don't worry, no. Pete. We, we 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 actually interviewed we actually interviewed Sean Merriman, who has a he has a, he has a lights out uh, boxing UFC where were you, company. Where were you when Romanowski was around? <laughs> Me? Where Not were a lot. You? Romanowski would want to would want to he you know he'd want to fight. Well, where I mean, you back in that, day? Uh, you're you're absolutely right. Uh, you know that and shooting himself <laughs> in the ass a million times. <laughs> so that's where Plaxico Burris got it from. Now it all makes sense. <laughs> Oh man! That's but anyway, you know what? That's uh, that, the Plexico Burris thing. Mm-hmm. That's one of my favorite stories of all time because I know Paul Allen and I were we were in New York. He was playing with the Giants, and we met with the PR guy who comes in because the PR guys from the other teams come in. They always ask him any questions uh, on pronunciation, pronunciations, anything like that. And we're like, yeah, okay. So is it Plexico or Plaxico mm-hmm. Burris? And he goes, well, he goes by both. <laughs> like no, he, he, we can't. Like, what are you going to have Paul call him one thing and me the other? It's like no, we need to know what you know officially. And it's a big deal. I think. I think behind behind the scenes, people know, but it's a big deal that um, we pronounce you know pronounce people's names properly. We mm-hmm. you know we owe them that. We owe them that respect, and we'd like to pronounce the names the right way. And when you have a guy go, yeah, it's eh, Plexico, Plexico, whatever. You know, it's like eh, tomato, tomato. It's like oh my god. Was, Don't ask me was, how to pronounce a name. I am the worst. Okay, yeah. uh, if there was a hockey, we've had hockey players on the show. And oh yeah, forget that. Uh, it's, I I have been so bad. I've brutally murdered their name, and they're like, uh, "No, that's not how you pronounce it." It's and they try to sound. Speedy always tries to like give me the punctuation before I, mm-hmm. I I'm ready to interview these guys, and he's like, "This is," how, and sometimes I just completely blop it. Okay, my it's favorite, just, my favorite. My probably one of my favorite players, you know, of all time is Halapula Vati Vaitai. Yes, I cannot right. pronounce and, that. And Don't he ask was with me. The, he was with the Eagles back in I think it was eighteen, yeah. twenty eighteen, with mm-hmm. the NFC Championship game, and he went to Detroit. And I remember when he when they traded him to Detroit, or he went to I don't know if he was traded or free agent. I I got on Twitter and I'm like, now I get to say his name <laughs> twice a year. <laughs> Right, and I'll literally sing it when I'm on the radio. I will. You should I just, challenge it's yourself. Like, it just took. It took. You know, the first time you saw it, you're like, "Really, Ala <laughs> Pulavati?" Okay, and you know, and they just keep saying it and saying it. it's just, yeah, it's the best. You should challenge yourself you know. next time the Vikings play the Buccaneers. You should search Vita Vea's real name, his like Hawaiian name. It's like 20 letters long, and try to pronounce that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, oh, it's God. it's the names are the names are are. And yeah, you just can't, you can't just, cause I you try to spell things off phonetically and all that kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. And, you know, you look at the, you, you, you listen to them, you can listen to them, say their names and then how it's spelled out on the flip card is different. Mm-hmm. So then you go, like I said, you go see the PR person and they're like, ah, you know, Plexico, Plexico, whatever. It doesn't matter. <laughs> tomato, like, tomato, you know, exactly. it doesn't matter. Yeah. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Whatever. Pete, we really so. appreciate you joining us. Uh, you're a busy man. Uh, good luck this weekend. Go yeah, Jets! It's be fun. <laughs> Go Jets! Uh, hopefully we we get our eighth win. And uh, I'm yeah. smiling. We get on. You get you on the show during the playoffs, and and maybe we'll see. Who we'll knows? see how well white. We'll see how yes, well white 100%. can execute an offense. Yes. 
you know, and the, with the crowd noise and everything else. And 100%. I think that, By the uh, way, exactly your crowd same. noise over there has been loud. I, I, I couldn't yeah, believe it when I watched the game against the New England Patriots, how loud the Minnesota Viking fans are over there. It's fantastic. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a small stadium. It's not huge. I mean, it's big, but it's not, it's not Arizona big. It's not Dallas big. Um, but it gets, it gets loud. You know, the old Metrodome used to get ridiculous. Yeah. My ear, you know, my ears would ring the day after a game and not, <laughs> it's not from getting hit. It was just from all the crowd noise. So, um, it does, it does get loud. And, you know, we, like I said, that's, we lost some momentum with the Dallas game. We really did. You did and a lot of fans because the fans up here are snake bit, right. Yeah. For, you know, four Super Bowls, no wins, you know, here we go again, that whole, that whole thing. Mm-hmm. So, um, and rightfully so they, when things don't look right, they, they get quiet. Mm-hmm. Right. Um, and so Dallas did that, but the way the offense played against the England, Yeah, you're absolutely right. That stadium got, got loud and hopefully that'll be a big advantage. I think it's going to be really, really fun. I'm, I, I'm looking forward to it and uh, good luck. And we'll talk to you Thank soon, you. my friend. All right, man. Anytime. See ya.